I think I'd be understating the position somewhat by saying it was only unfortunate. I think as a man who is the allegedly the minister for the environment, um, I, I don't, I can't reconcile the position of the Isle of Man in in the British Isles with someone coming out with statements like that. I mean, I don't, I really don't have a charitable word to say for them. Um, I mean, he speaks like a man who hasn't engaged with any of the arguments or the science against his position. And if he hasn't taken that opportunity, then um, I struggle to see how he can maintain his position. I mean, um, it's, it's really difficult because these issues are so pressing for people around the world, not just on the shores of the Isle of Man. We talk about farmers. He was on the radio two weeks ago talking about farmers who are suffering a huge drought in the Isle of Man, um, a climate issue. Uh, We've seen in the last decade an incredible number of the hottest summers on record since the 1850s. Um, And and these are impacts that are affecting the world right now. Was there an island that has sunk recently as a, as, a, as a result of rising sea levels? We have to remind ourselves that we are, in fact, on an island that is um, going to be impacted. There's a, Brit- a UK government report that came out last week that identified the large number of houses that are going to be at risk of a metre rise in. Um, I'm looking at the north of the island and saying what areas of the north of the island are going to be at risk of a metre rise in within the next 100 years. Um, that should be a concern, but we should be looking at what if it's more than a metre, what if it's three metres? If we can't put the brakes on our consumption and our admission of CO2 levels now on the Isle of Man elsewhere, um, then um, we may be looking at that future. And so... It doesn't only go to the rising sea temperatures as well, that the, how this is going to impact the Isle of Man. We import a, a large amount of our food. And um, in a statement recently, the Isle of Man Green Party or referred to the, uh, the latest um, uh, famine that occurred in January 2017. Um, but it, it was an important issue where there was... Um, the, the the spinach and lettuce, etc., that was produced in northern Spain uh, was just uh, suffered, the crop suffered, so our Tesco was bare, uh, as were all these other shops in the UK, and that was something that immediately hit home to us. Um, how climate change is going to impact us? Where do we uh, get our food from? Uh, where are the impacts going to be felt? Maybe Central Africa, and what's going to happen to those populations? Will they come to Europe? And there's going to be mass migrations of people who cannot sustain, sustain themselves any longer in places around the world. So there are many issues that are going to impact the Isle of Man. And, and I would be looking to our politicians to take this opportunity to take leadership take leaderships on these fundamental issues and express a narrative of of import as to what we should be doing, but also what the future could look like, what a positive future could look like. And I draw on this issue around the licensing to um, extract um, or, or frack. Um, there's some debate about the term at the moment. Um, the hydrocarbons from Mackled Head and... and um, this conflict now we have where there might be a wind farm at exactly the same place, and I know which one I'd be advocating uh, for, but um, what kind of leadership does that display, display from our politicians when we have the science which should guide our political decisions coming out dramatically in support of one narrative, which is climate change is happening now, and if we don't stop it, it's going to dramatically impact us in the next decade, um, let alone the next 30 um, yeah, the next three decades. Sorry, he did um, say though when he was he was talking about that, and he was saying, well, you, you know, we have to talk about competing priorities. The health service, you know, we're a small nation. He mentioned that we could bring in millions of pounds uh, by developing assets and potentially uh, referencing the gas deposit as well. What do you make to that? So uh, I would like to see some accounting of those conclusions. For instance, what are the costs of climate change and the costs upon our society and the, and the, the opportunity costs as well? Um, all these considerations need to be factored in. Whenever, you, when, when, whenever he has a bold assumption or a bold statement about what money could be brought into the Isle of Man, um, revenue doesn't make profit necessarily if there are dramatic costs that need to be factored against it.